I am leaving Thomas Knob shelter this morning and uh, we had kind of a wet night and I didn't video much yesterday afternoon. I was having a rough afternoon. I think the cold medicine really got to me and I was just totally dragging but thankfully Hack Rat hung with me after lunchtime and uh, gave me a lot of encouragement so I really appreciated that because I needed, needed someone or something to drag me along the trail but this kind of rocky wet trail is a lot of what we were contending with and this is just uh, getting from the shelter to the fence. Lots of puddles from a big downpour last night and just a little bit beyond here is where the uh, electric fence and enclosure is for the bear box they just put in since there's so much bear trouble here. Very, very foggy this morning but yesterday over that way is where the water is. You have to go down a big rock scramble to get to it. There were beautiful views from there yesterday. Today you can't see much of anything but this is the enclosure for the bear box. It's kind of a small bear box, about half the size of the ones they have in Georgia. And uh, if you've got a bear vault like that one, you can just put it in the enclosure because hopefully the bear is not going to get through the electric fence. But this is the fence and you come around and there are instructions here for how to, uh, how to operate it. Um, kind of hard to see because the wind's blowing right there, but basically you have to turn it off at the box here and it's solar powered and switch it off. And then you take each one of these little cables and unclip it and they're color coded. There's yellow, white, and red. And you attach them over to that pole there so that you can step over the bottom cables and get in and access the bear box. So a little bit of exercise to get to your food, but uh, necessary because so many people have been, uh, well, I can't blame it on the people. There is a lot of garbage at the shelter and um, people are somewhat careless. Some, some people are somewhat careless, I guess I should say. Um, but bears were getting properly hung bear bags. So the bears are getting smarter too. So you can't blame it all on the people. But anyway, extra precautions necessary to protect food and protect the bears because when they get accustomed to human food, uh, they become more dangerous. And as they say, a fed bear is a dead bear. And, and this is how I'm starting my hike this morning. This is the northbound AT. So I'm going to put the phone away and navigate. And hopefully it will clear up a little bit as we get down the hill. It's mostly downhill today. 16 miles. The first four are through fields, and I hope I'll see ponies because I didn't see any yesterday. All right, I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can. There's some ponies. They're hard to see on the video, but they are right ahead of us on the trail. And I'm going to walk ahead and hopefully they won't run away. Good morning, pony. Where are you? There's still Bill. <laughs> he's, he's having a, a hard time with that one. <laughs> and there's, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Are you excited about the ponies? Excited about the ponies. Uh -oh. Well, hello. Excited about you. you got some grass there. Hi, you are not going to eat my poles. I know they taste good. Look at the babies. I am so excited. This is like definitely a high point of the trail for me. I bet they wish the rain to quit too. And this little baby's thinking about milk. Well, hi. Hey. Here you go. So one of the guidebooks said our first four miles of our hike today was going to be through meadows. <laughs> These do not look like meadows. <laughs> These are rocks. <laughs> and we've been doing a lot of pretty intense rock scrambling this morning. We did go through the little meadow to see the ponies, but uh, yeah, they're making us work for the downhill today. Now that looks a little more like a meadow. <laughs> I think we finally come through the rock scrambles and you can see from up there, that's the kind of terrain we've been going over. Just lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of rocks. <laughs> I don't know where they all come from, <laughs> but they're all here. And uh, yeah, we've made it through and there's some more ponies over there. And uh, we'll see, I don't know how many miles we've done, but it was very slow going. So, uh, good way to get the legs warmed up. And uh, off to a good uh, start, even though a little bit slow. Clouds are clearing off a little bit. There's a tiny little bright piece of sunshine right there, and I blue sky I just saw through. Wow! <laughs> There's blue sky right there. <laughs> a little tiny spot. <laughs> but little teeny spot. But uh, yeah, it's nice to be able to see a little bit of a view this morning. Taking pictures of ponies. 
<laughs> okay, so <laughs> Packrat says I can blame it on taking pictures of ponies. There is somewhere back there about 0.8 miles was the 500 mile mark. So we just passed 500. Yay! <laughs> Hard to believe I've gotten that far and I got a little ways to go and I will be a quarter way down the trail. So I'm excited about that, but man, what a bummer to miss the mark. Maybe, uh, maybe there's a celebratory sign up here somewhere. All right, we are exiting the Mount Rogers area and going into the state park. And uh, looks like a very popular place to be on a Saturday. And would you look at that up in the sky? It's blue! Hooray! Love to see some blue sky. So that is Mount Rogers where we were last night. We've come down through the park and some brave souls climbing the rocks. We didn't have to go quite that high on our rocks, but we did have an awful lot of rocks coming down. The theme today is supposed to be mostly downhill, but that always involves a little bit of climbing too. So we are heading this way on this still somewhat rocky path. It's a pretty little creek to cross here with a bridge and a rope. <laughs> Safety first, make sure you hang on. I hiked with Pack Rat today and uh, we stopped, I don't know, I guess midday, we got to this place called the um, Scales. And I'm not sure the history behind it, but it's a pen and there's some livestock, there's some longhorn cattle. And we still had about four or five miles to go to get here to Old Orchard. And I was going to rest and then go on the rest of the way, but I was feeling really tired. The, the trail today was just super, super rocky. and. Uh, was really wearing me out so we decided to just stop at 12 and he helped me uh, adjust my schedule a little bit um, so that I could still get to where I need to be to go home on Wednesday but I want to say that this is actually one of the more beautiful uh, shelter spots that I've been to and uh, just a really gorgeous evening there was actually thunderstorms threatening as we were walking down the last mile to get here but there are just trees everywhere and the way the sunlight is coming down, it's a little after six and I've had dinner at home my bear bag and uh, just hanging out and uh, enjoying this gorgeous, gorgeous sight. There's a down below there, I don't know if you can see, just Bill, still Bill is his name. Uh, we're both camping down there in the little field and then the shelter itself is small, it holds eight people. And there's no chinking between the logs, which is kind of interesting. So it's sort of open. But uh, Packrat's the only person staying in there tonight. And then there's another guy tenting down that way. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of quiet evening, but it's just beautiful, beautiful property. Um, I just came from the privy, and it's another giant privy, <laughs> um, like the one at Thomas Knob. And the, Water is a delicious spring that's um, several hundred yards past the shelter the other way, but really just a beautiful night. So I'm very happy that I actually decided to stop and just uh, enjoy hanging out for a bit. I am heading towards the Trimpy shelter this morning. That's a slight change of plans, but since we cut the hike short yesterday and only did 12 miles, I've got to do 14 today to keep on plan to get to the uh, quarterway in and uh, into Marion to rent a car and head home. So. It's all good, but I woke up at like 5.30 this morning. The birds were so loud they woke me up, and I was on the trail by 7.20, which was great, making a wonderful time down a nice smooth downhill. And I got to a parking area, and I remember reading in the guidebook that 100 yards down was another parking area for horse trailers with portalettes. And my old shoes, my Salcones, stink to high heaven. I've been carrying them around just in case I needed them if the altars didn't work out. The altars are doing great, so I thought, you know what? Rather than toting around, trying to take them home, clean them up, they're never gonna be the same. If I can find a trash can, I should ditch them. And we actually emptied our trash bags yesterday at the scales, but it didn't occur to me at that point. So I thought of it this morning and I took a gamble and walked the 100 yards down the road to the uh, campground actually, where there were several horse trailers packing up for the day. And there was a big dumpster there, so I was able to ditch my shoes. And I also talked to a woman who had a horse and uh, she was asking about my hike and she told me that the weather this week is supposed to be really nice. I uh, haven't seen a weather forecast because I've had no cell service at all. And um, so she said it's going to be 70s to 80s and clear most of the time. So that's really good news and uh, definitely makes my morning even better. So I'm going to 
head uphill. Got to go that way, and it's a little bit steep, but uh, uphill, downhill, doesn't matter. I've got 14 miles to do, and um, hopefully it'll be a good day. I made great time today, um, 14 miles in about seven, actually eight hours counting lunch time and break time. I'm here at the Trimpy Shelter and it's small, but um, really actually kind of cute. It's made out of stone and it's got platforms, one on each side, and then also an upper bunk and a fireplace. So that would be pretty cozy in the cold weather. And there is lots of tent area down here and I'm already set up. Got here about 3.30 and also hung my bear line went down to the spring, got my water, so I am all set for the evening. So, yesterday afternoon and evening was interesting. Uh, right after Still Bill arrived, he went down and looked at the campsites, and they were all pretty hard packed and a little muddy, but I had gone ahead and set up my tent anyway because I didn't want to be in the shelter. He decided not to <laughs> and uh, opted to stay in the shelter in case it rained, and it started thundering right after that and just a huge downpour and all the tent sites were in mud puddles <laughs> and bless him still bill grabbed a shovel as soon as it stopped raining and he went out and he trenched around my site so that it would drain for me and i've had some problems with my homemade ground cloth that if water gets between it and the tent eventually it soaks through and i end up sleeping in a wet tent which is no fun <laughs> even though I waterproofed the bottom of it beforehand. And I did talk to Nemo about that at trail days and they said I could send the tent back and they'd evaluate it, but of course I don't have time for that because I'm through hiking. So, uh, still Bill had given me a suggestion to put a bunch of pinpricks in the polycryo so it would drain, but I haven't had a chance to do that yet. Anyway, it uh, helped tremendously when he uh, trenched around it and the water drained off and I went back a little while later and lifted up some corners of my tent to make sure I didn't have water underneath and it turned out that I was much drier than I expected thankfully overnight I didn't have any water coming up into the tent which was good uh, but when I went to clean up this morning man there was mud splash on my tent the ground cloth was covered in mud and uh, yeah it just took me a little while longer than usual to get cleaned up and packed up and I've got a muddy stinky filthy backpack stinky filthy me <laughs> and uh we're going into the uh, partnership shelter today i've got 10 miles to hike hopefully i'll be there by about one so that's the shelter where you can order pizza so that's gonna be cool and i also need to go into marion and resupply but uh yeah hopefully it'll be a good hike and i can get cleaned up a little bit i know i won't be able to really clean everything for another two days till i get to the quarter way in but even just cleaning my body would feel good because a little bird bath just doesn't cut it when you stink from head to toe. So anyway, that's the plan for today. I'm hiking now and uh, I'm off. It is a lovely morning. The sun is shining and there's not a single cloud that I can see in the sky, so it's gorgeous. And the AT is taking me through the cow pasture. Uh, I have to watch my step because there's uh, plenty of cow patties in here. <laughs> but uh, pretty wild to just walk right by the cows and they don't pay much attention.